What's up, YouTube? It's DJ Busta B. I haven't done a video in about almost a month, maybe three and a half weeks. But I want to do a video about subwoofers. I'm still, I still have my um, two 18-inch front firing or front loaded base cabinets, like a lot of DJs use. They're two, they're two 18s. Each driver is um, 18-inch driver, 200-ounce magnet, and four-inch voice coil. And these things actually sound pretty good. I was, these are custom built back in the day, about maybe four and a half years old. This thing sounds great. But um, I'm getting two folded horn cabinets built right now. I pick them up this weekend and I gotta load some drivers in them. But I um, want to get you guys opinion about folded horns. I know some guys use them, some guys don't. I know I think uh, Brandon Stewart with Stewart Productions, he uses them for like big events. And I got a big event coming up and it's a real huge room. And I know the, the folded horns, should carry the bass across like the big big rooms. I've been reading up on all kind of positioning of speakers and things like that. And I know if you couple them together, you get more decibels. If you stack the horns and stuff like that. But I haven't really seen anybody ever mix the subs. I know they say don't do it. Like the front loaded cabinets with folded horns don't ever mix them together. It's hard to EQ them and things like that. But if you, I just want to know you guys' opinion. If any of you guys are using folded horns, you know how do they sound for you? you know, I just want to get some opinions because not too many people have them around this area. Some guys use them, and, but they was like in a band. So I, I really didn't hear boomy bass like, you know, if you pump it some either hard dubstep or hip hop or something like that. So I just want to get you guys' opinion, you know, put your comments about holding horns if you're using them. If not, you know, your opinion is about the two different kind of subs. So I've been reading on them, but still don't know a whole lot. But I'm, the cabinets that I'm getting built is from an actual site called um, Strictly Hookups. And the guy lives in North Carolina, which is like two hours, maybe about two hours and 20 minutes from where I live at now. So I'm just getting these speakers built and I'm going to pick them up. And these are the, what he calls the Thunder, Thunder Bass Horns, 18 inch. And these things, for two of them is $300 for two. And if you get them shipped, it's like $160, I think, shipping. But since I'm picking them up, you know, I'm not paying anything for shipping. If you check out the, um, all the specs, these things, pretty much the same specs as some as the Cern Vegas. 36 high, 24 wide, 36 deep. And if I come over here to, um, there's one site that sells the Cern Vega right here, $749 with the driver. 36, 24, 36. Come over here to his site, 36, 24, 36. Exact same. And he's got all kind of speakers, I mean, all kind of photos on Facebook and his um, actual website. And if it says, like the ones I'm getting built, uh, where are they? Right here. If I click on here, you can see all kind of photos from start to finish. His woodwork, I mean, it's excellent. I found some good quality pictures here. Let's see. Yeah, if it's like start, here's a start photo right here. You can see how he, all of the craftsmanship, how he does all the wood, sanding everything. All the measurements. And even he has speaker plans on his website. This exact speaker, you could build it yourself if you have all the proper tools and know all about your measurements and angles and things like that. But it's all kind of photos he has from all the kind of different speakers that he builds. Then he fully, you know, coppers everything, puts all the end pieces on, you know, your handles. The brackets, everything, it's all done up and ready for you and you can ship them out and that's pretty much right before you put everything together, that's how they will actually look. And that's the finished product right here. That's more pictures. Show you one more of the finished product. And yeah, that's the front of it. Side view. Oh, here's a few more right here. On the camera side, as you can see it. Yeah, you see your handles on the top, all your metal pieces right here for your ends, even on your access over here where you can access this and replace your woofer if something blows. But this guy's website has been open for years, and it looks like that's all he does is build speakers. He's got so many different kind of speakers. I mean, your dual 15 cabinets, folded horns for like smaller ones. He even does uh, your double afterburner kind of folded horn cabinets like this you put double 18s in them he does all these boxes from start to finish takes me about a week to uh, build each speaker 
I mean, each, well, for two cabinets, it takes about a week to build. Here's a shot of that one when it's actually done. And when he's finished with everything, he actually, or even you guys, are you still into the um, the bass scoops? Like um, you put your reggae music and things. He he does those cabinets also. When everything is done, he actually shrink wraps, puts it all shrink wrapped, and is shipped freight to your location. So it seems like it's pretty good from all the reviews and on his blog website and everything. Oh yeah, this is a picture of how when how he ships it to you on a pallet with uh, the wood around everything, the plywood. So I'm gonna take a chance to get these speakers built. Then I'm gonna load them up with some drivers and I'm gonna try them out, test them out in the house and everything. I know I won't get a good response in the house because you're close up on them and folded horns, you get better response the further away you get. So if you guys just put your comments below, if, you know, if you're using folded horns, how do they work for you? You know, have you experimented, experimented with different speaker locations and positions and things like that? Or if you've mixed folded horns with regular front firing 18s, you know, have you tried that out? Because I'm interested in all that. I mean, I'm going to try it anyway, but I just want to get you guys' opinion. Find out. So put your comments below and let me know. Peace.